Okay, so next step in is to activate a few tasks uh, for uh, approvals and workflows, basically work uh, approvals in PFTC transaction code. Okay, so this video I'm going to complete, okay, because there are a few quite a few tasks that need to be activated. Okay, so let's go to transaction PFTC. And these are all in GIS system, okay? So keep that in mind. In PFTC now, select standard task. Okay? And then the, all the tasks, they have they begin with 630, 76, Okay, so you see some of the list, the ones that we need listed here. Okay, I'm going to type in all of them and we're going to record this video for all the tasks, okay? So 7630, Let's see. Okay, click on change. Go to additional data, agent assignment. Select this attribute and general task. Okay, so all the tasks that we're going to check now is going to be the same steps for all of them we need to assign the general task the next one in the list is 7944 okay the first four digits is the same for all the tasks that we're going to look at and the last four digits may change okay so 7944 is the next one and click hit enter key change additional data agent assignment maintain then you select the task and click on attributes and then in the task box select general task say transfer and save okay go back and save okay let's want, want to confirm this so go to display if you want go to additional data Agent assignment, display. Okay, so see, see it's already assigned. Okay, general task. So just want to make sure it's saving. Okay. The next one in the list is 64. Same steps. Okay, hit the enter key. Change additional data. Change assignment, maintain, select the task, attribute, general task, transfer, go back and save. Okay, so the next one is 66. Okay, 7966. Change. Additional data, agent assignment, maintain attributes, general task. Okay, so the reason I'm recording all the test steps, I mean all these tasks, is because I want you to have this list with you. Okay, so you need to, uh, so that you know what all tasks need to be activated. So we are on five, fifth one now, which is 697967, change. Maintain and select the task attributes. Transfer. Go back. Save. Okay. Now, the next series of numbers is 7, 6, 3, 0, and 8, 0. Okay. All of them will have this as common. 8, 0 is common. The last two digits are going to change from this point on. Okay. Hit the enter key change 
additional data agent assignment maintain okay next one is 88013 okay with the entity This one has some problem. Class client object. All clients. Maybe because it affects all clients, it's not allowing you to do this. Okay, so let's ignore this. So 78019 uh, is not needed let's see what happens with the next one 21 okay so let's go and change this 21 maybe this won't let you do does it okay it does okay change transfer go back save okay 21 is done then you go to 26 okay same process or change additional data agent assignment maintain save after 26 you have 28 and then you have 29 okay after 29 you have 31 Then you have 38. Okay, 38 and then you have 47. Okay, so you're done with 47 and then you have two more one the first one not the two is 56 okay and then there is another one for 57 let's see what happens with these Now the last one that you have in standard task is uh, 8057. Okay, this is the last one that you have under for standard task. So go to agent assignment, maintain, and then attributes. Select the task and attributes, and then say select general task, transfer, and say save. So you activated let's try this 13 one more time and see what the error message was if it is not working that's fine 
we'll see what happened with this send agent assignment and maintain info does not exist so it, uh, there is a problem with this class okay so if it does not exist does not exist okay so the next step of uh, this task activation is some you need to activate the task related to workflows so you can either do it from here say workflow task and these are 763 then you have three zeros and a num two numbers okay so these are the ones that need to be activated but you can't do it from uh, pftc we can okay so if one click on change agent assignment okay you can either do it from pre uh, pftc or in pftc you select workflow template or you can go to the transaction swdd okay so let's do that in the next video so the next video we're going to activate workflow re workflow re related tasks